Hi, thanks for stopping by at RandPaul2010.com. We're really excited about our news this week. We announced last night that we're forming an exploratory committee to run for the U.S. Senate. There's been a lot of news here in Kentucky lately about whether our senator will run for office, and I've decided to go ahead and form an exploratory committee. The situation's a bit confusing in the sense that the senator has said he's running, but no one tends to believe that he will continue to run. He's encouraging other candidates to form exploratory committees, so we made the decision this week to do also. We were very lucky. We got national television exposure when we announced this. We were also able to get an AP story, as well as stories in most of the major newspapers, as well as coverage by ABC affiliates in Kentucky. So we've been very pleased with the media coverage we're getting. We think we have a real chance to present the message for those who believe in limited government and individual freedom, and we have a chance to win in this primary. We do not take this opportunity lightly in the sense that we really plan on running a campaign to win. This may well be an open seat in our country. That's one of the few seats that really are winnable anymore, are seats where there is no incumbent. And so we are going to be prepared, we're laying the groundwork, we're traveling around the state, and we're getting a good reception. We think that the message of limited government is a one message that the Republican Party hasn't done a good job presenting lately, and we think the Republican Party in many ways has lost their believability on issues like the deficit. For the eight years that we were in charge in Washington, the deficit went from $5 trillion to $10 trillion. We've got to do something about federal spending. I no longer think this is an academic question. I think that the deficit is not just something that future generations will pay. I think we'll begin paying for the deficit in the next year or two through higher prices at the drugstore and the grocery store, through inflation. And I think we could well see prices rising even faster than they did in 1979 and 1980. The money supply was doubled in the last four months of last year. The Federal Reserve has added over $2 trillion to their asset sheet. Something's going on, and we could, and we are in great danger of this actually destroying our currency. We have to do something, and I don't think we can sit idly by and let this happen. I hope you'll continue to visit the website. I hope you'll support me in this campaign, and we look forward to working together over the next year or so. Thank you for visiting the site.